Okay, so we've got an issue where this outside handle is not causing the door to open, but on the inside, it will open. So why is that? Well, let's take a look. We want to start inside the van here. I've got the door closed because you're going to need this door, to, this sliding door to be closed. And this top panel is going to need to come off first. And it's going to come off with some screws and actually popping this thing out. This piece up here needs to come out. It's uh, attached by a screw. And when you're taking this out, when you're popping this out, it's going to seem like you're destroying things. I wish there was a better design on how they did this. Uh, screws to me would be better, but uh, they have these clips. You can see them there that hold on to these plastic tabs. So that's what you're going to be popping out. And unfortunately, with an older van, these tabs might break so you got to be really gentle and yet firm in taking them out that one's okay that one's okay too they're just going to grab on to and hold on to that plastic and sometimes the plastic breaks so be very gentle i used uh, a tool like this to pry underneath to get them out. So you take the top off first because we want to get down to where the issue is, where the problem is. And then the bottom panel needs to come off. I think you can see, by the way, while you're taking this out, you're gonna have to press down on the lock and push that up out of there. Then the bottom panel needs to come off. See these hooks are going down. So you're gonna be lifting up while you're pulling out. And on this one, you can see where the clip busted, but that's okay. There's enough of these that'll hold on there with the screws. Uh, this one broke too. Yeah, it's just the nature of these vans getting older, the plastic getting older. I wish it was a better system than that, but we got to work with what we got to work with. Okay, so we got the panels off. Let's see what's going on in here. Fortunately, in this situation, it's only going to be tightening one screw, and I'll see if we can get in there so you can see okay so here's where the issue is now i'm going to be operating this from the um, outside my hand here and i got some light in there and you can see when i go to turn it that that piece is not grabbing hold of the top the reason is because there's a screw down here if you can see it that has become loose now if i go to tighten that up you'll see the difference All right, so I'm gonna take my screwdriver and I'm gonna tighten this screw right here. Oh, that's really loose. So I'll go in the top here. Okay, let's see if that makes a difference. See, now it's grabbing. Now let's see if it opens from the outside now. Sure enough, it works. Now I'm gonna drop a little bit of thread locker on that screw so that hopefully you don't have that issue again. I've opened that screw back up let uh, some thread locker drop on 
the uh, outside of it so that it gets in there. Then I'm gonna lock it up again. I'll let it soak in there. And then I'm gonna turn it. So fortunately, that was an easy fix. Hope this helps somebody. And you're basically gonna put everything back in reverse order. When you're putting these panels back on, you gotta be real patient because all of those clips have to fit in the holes as you're pushing this down. I also kept the door slightly open so that you can get all the way down there. That's uh, important. Just open the door just a little bit and be very patient and you'll get them all in, and then you're gonna put all the screws back in that will help hold all this together. I had put this down when I took the panel off. Now I'm gonna bring this up to put it back on. It seems to do the trick. There we go. Thanks for watching.